Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today I'm going to show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to set up ADB procedure. Get ADB recognized, which means uh, having a serial number show up at the end of that procedure. Then you can come back to this procedure and continue. So if you haven't done that, click on this link here, follow all of those steps, and then come back to this one. Okay, next up, we need to download uh, the Superboot files and save them to our computer. This is going to unlock our bootloader and help us root the device. So click on this link here. We'll be taken to Paul at Motoko's post. And then click on the latest revision, which is what the R stands for, uh, and click download and save that to your computer. Okay, once that's downloaded, we're going to right click it and hit extract all. Hit extract. And then open the folder and make sure that we have all of these files inside. Okay, then on the device, we're going to go to settings. So pull down this, set settings at the top. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, hit developer options, and then check and make sure the USB debugging is checked on. Then you're going to plug in your device via USB to your computer. Do not mount any of these things, just leave it. Then you're going to double click and open the uh, Superboot folder that we just extracted, and the one inside that if you have one, until we get to the folder with Fastboot Windows, ADB Windows inside. Then you're going to hold Shift on your keyboard, and right click anywhere that's blank, so like down there, will be fine. And hit open command window here. Now we're going to type the following uh, with hitting enter at the end of each line. E hyphen windows. Reboot. Boot loader. And hit enter. And when you do that, your device should reboot into bootloader mode. You'll see like a little Android with his stomach open on your phone right now. Once it reboots into that mode, we can type the next thing, which is... Fastboot-windows, OEM unlock. Hit enter, it'll say waiting for device. You mind your... Computer might be installing drivers at the moment for fast boot, so give it a second to do that. Okay, so if your command prompt window kind of gets stuck at waiting for a device like mine is, what you're going to do is you're going to click and download and, and install PDA Net. So click PDA Net. We want it for whatever version of Windows you have. I happen to have 64 bit. And once that downloads, we're going to click on it. Hit yes, next, agree, next, next, next. Uh, we're going to say yes to reinstall. Select Samsung. Install this driver software anyway. Yes. And click OK. Hit OK. All right, hit cancel. And wait for it to now uninstall PDA Net. Now that it installed the driver, which is what we really wanted. Now unplug your device and plug it back in. And you should see some dots now on the screen of your computer, which means it worked. And then you should see this on your device's screen. Uh, do you want to unlock bootloader? You're going to use the volume buttons. And power to select. So we're going to select volume up to hit yes and power. Now at the very bottom here, it should say lock state unlocked. Okay, now while it's still in uh, fast boot mode, it says unlocked at the bottom of the phone and it's still plugged in. 
we're going to go back to our Galaxy Nexus Superboot folder here, and we're going to double click Install Superboot Windows. A command prompt will pop up real quick, say a few little things, and then disappear. After file, it should auto boot device, and then say Android is upgrading on the screen. And once it does reboot, you're going to have to go through your normal setup process. But once you get through that, you're back to your home screen. And now we're going to click on the apps, slide over, and we should see super user in there, which means we are now rooted. So if you want, you can head to the next procedure underneath this one uh, in order to load a custom recovery image and be able to load custom ROMs, add Google Wallet to the device, that kind of stuff. Uh, or you can just stick with it as it is now and just use root required apps. Thank you.